All right, people, welcome back. More Fred Card Friday. So this card was sent to me by one of my viewers, subscribers, and it's more of an errata. It's not really a new fake card, but an errata to previous cards. You guys know, uh, lately in Yu-Gi-Oh, there have been uh, cards that were previously banned, get erratas and changed, and uh, see themselves coming off the list and, you know, maybe even going up to, like, three. So uh, this person, uh, one of my viewers, subscribers, decided to go ahead and create an errata version of Graceful Charity. So I'm going to go ahead and look at it, determine... Yeah, then with this, Graceful Charity can come back, or uh, any other uh, possibilities. Because, you know, sometimes, especially with some of these Dorados, you hit the card way too hard to the point where it's not even playable and it turns to shit like Sinister Serpent. So, you know, you got to find a good balance, and uh, we're going to go ahead and look at this card and determine if this card is a good balance. This is like, yes, if, uh, if Graceful Charity got an Arata, then it's totally be fine to come back in the game. What It could have come back in the game, and what too? So, Graceful Charity. Damn card, all right. So... Uh, the errata has changed, uh, it seems like the card checks, the card text has changed a lot, like, I must say that, that when reading it right now, it's like, it's, it's a lot changed, that to, it would be to the point where it probably wouldn't be an errata, but more of an entirely different card, but we'll go ahead and, uh, think of it in comparison, so, uh, during your main phase one, alright, draw three cards, then banish two spell cards in your hand, alright, so, I don't, uh, from what I see, I don't see anything that's really restricting you from playing the card. And, I mean, like I said, how do you keep that in check? Like, what happens if you don't have two spell cards to banish? You know, like, that that, that definitely needs to be just in case. Similar to a layer of darkness, you draw two, you banish a dark. If you don't have a dark, send all your hands to the graveyard, you know. With this card, the way that it's, it's worded and the way that it's being uh, resolved, you need to have some kind of punishment because... It's not reinforcing the fact that there's nothing that happens if you have no two spell cards, you know? Like, what happens? I play it, I draw three, but I don't have two spell cards to banish. What happens? Do I just draw three and nothing happens? Or do I lose my entire hand? You know, what happens after that? What happens? What's the punishment for not being able to banish doing two spell cards? So instead of just discarding two cards, draw three, discard two, even out, you draw three and banish two spell cards. You still even out. But instead of just discarding whatever, you got to banish two spell cards. All right. Uh, but this card's not done. You must end your turn when this card resolves. So you play Gracie Charity, you throw, draw three, you banish two, and then your turn immediately ends. And of course, you have to play it in your main phase one, but at least it's not at the start of your main phase one, so you can go ahead and, you know, normal summon, get a search, or, uh, you know, set some background, do whatever. But this card has to be played in your main phase 1, and then your turn immediately ends. So no battle phase, no main phase 2, but you still get to conduct your, your main phase, not like at the start of your main phase. That'd be a little crazy. But uh, yeah, your turn just immediately ends, which is just, mmm. So, uh, it's, it's looking kind of it's looking kind of crappy, it really is. Alright, uh, you cannot activate card effects until the end of your next turn. This is really difficult to read. Like, like I, I get it. It's probably maybe their first Yu-Gi-Oh card. But still, this is just, like, really difficult to read. The card text is all over the place. Like, maybe I'll, I'll probably clean it up in the description. But, yeah. I'm just sitting here trying to just read and get a grasp of what they're trying to get across. You cannot activate card effects until the end of your next turn. You can only activate one Grace of Charity per duel. I mean, okay. So... I play it. My turn ends, and then I can't activate card effects until the end of my next turn, which would be the second turn, right? Unless, unless I'm reading it wrong. Until the end of your, until the end of your next turn. This is my the current turn. Next turn is my next turn. So that means that pretty much I play this card. I draw three. I banish two. Even out in resources, and then I can't play Yu-Gi-Oh for the next two turns. I end immediately on my turn, and then I can't activate card effects until for the next turn. That, no, no, it's too much. It's too much. Now, you either gotta make it so you you even out with resources, which is generally Grace for Charity does, which, I mean, what makes Grace for Charity so broken? No, do you get to look two cards, I mean, three cards deep into your deck, but you can go ahead and discard two as well, allowing you to get set up, you know, uh, Forever Epic with that whole Twin Twister debacle. It's like, hey, you get to go ahead and discard something out of your hand and get your play set up. Yeah. Grace for Charity is pretty much in the same boat, you know, draw three, three cards deep into your deck, your next three cards, it's very powerful, your next three cards, and then go ahead and discard, uh, two, well, it's even out, because it's Grateful Charity, and two cards you discarded for three, so zero, it's still a banned card, obviously, and very powerful, but 
making it so you cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh for essentially two turns after playing this. This would make it if this is actually Gershaw Trader's Rada, it would make it to the point where it'd be unplayable. It'd be like Sinister Serpent. It'd be so poop that no one would ever touch it. Hey, why the hell am I gonna draw three cards, banish two spells, even on resources, just to not play Yu-Gi-Oh for the next two turns? It's, it's, it just doesn't make any sense. It's not worth the effort. So, Gershaw Trader, what can we do to change that? Um I said, Gristle Trade is a very powerful card. I, th I think simply just what you did with Pot of Greed might be enough, you know? I'm not saying, you know, Pot of Cupidity where you, like, you know, banish the top 10 cards of your deck or anything like that. But maybe, maybe like, maybe like a card card B or something like that. Maybe like a card card C or a card card G for Graceful Charity. You summon it, the start of your main phase one, you tribute it, you draw three, discard two, and then your turn ends. You know, that, that, that's, that's the basic extent that... I could probably see for Graceful Charity. Is it still Graceful Charity? Yes. Do you still even not like Graceful Charity? Yes, but at least you can't just get three cards deeper into your deck and then proceed to go off that turn through your di whatever you discarded and whatever. So I think that might be the extent of, you know, a rather for, or a redid done for Graceful Charity. It'd be a whole different monster, like I said. It wouldn't be Graceful Charity, but this this is just a little bit too much. So I'm definitely going to have to give this a no, because, oh my god, no one would ever play this card, ever. It's just It just hurts too much. Like, in the, in the time that you played Grateful Charity, you, you got two turns of nothing, you're probably going to get the shit kicked out of you. Like, your turn immediately ends, and then you cannot activate card effects until the end of your next turn? Nah. Nah. That includes all your back row, too. Like, nah, you can't even activate none of that until the end of your next turn. That's, that's just a little bit too much. So, I'm going to have to give that a no on, uh, on this. But, uh, it was a fine attempt, you know? Uh, continue creating, uh, fake cards, and, uh... You know, uh, if I see anything that I like on the fake cards that you create, I will go ahead and uh, take the time to review them. Because uh, Fake Card Friday doesn't just involve me looking for fake cards. You know, you guys can go ahead and send me fake cards too. And I will go ahead and take the time to look at them if I deem them worthy. I mean, it, kind of seems, it seems like kind of an actual thing, but, you know, in the end, I'm trying to keep you guys entertained with here on Fake Card Friday. If a card is either too balanced or too bland, then I you know, probably won't give it the time of day. But, you know, once every blue moon, we like to get these crazy cards. Or, you know, we can also... Uh, do things like this, like erotics for currently banned cards, and the uh, fake card of a, of a supposed erotic, we could do that too. I mean, fake card Friday, Friday is fake card Friday, as long as it's not a real Yu-Gi-Oh card, and it's not card review, it's fake card Friday. So, anyway, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you guys think about this card, and uh, this Arata of Graceful Charity, and what do you guys think, what would it take to Arata Graceful Charity to allow it to come back into the game? And, you know, uh, in that case, how many would it be able to come to with that Arata? So uh, thanks for watching the close support, and I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Thanks for watching.